Hey you guys, it's day eight of Dr. Morse's Monkey Diet Challenge. I don't have a topic for today, just a quick update because I'm exhausted. Oh guys, I'm so beat. <laughs> My poor husband has been going through some major physical purging symptoms and I've been helping him through those. I did make him some white willow bark tea earlier today just to help with some body aches and pains. Though I'm not going through any major physical purging symptoms right now, I am very much struggling with low energy the last couple days. A big part of this is just my adrenals. I know that I have weakened and congested adrenals and that takes time to clean and strengthen and rebuild those tissues. But another very large part of this is the fact that, unfortunately, a lot of the grapes in my area have been very underripe, to say the least. Um, I've had a few days where they've been really great, really ripe, very satisfying, but the last couple days have been so hit or miss. And so I'm gonna change course ever so slightly for the last half of this challenge just to make sure that my body is still getting proper hydration, that I'm still alkalizing, and that I'm getting enough to eat throughout the day and feeling satiated. I still plan on staying with a daily grape and lemon juice because that has been phenomenal, guys. It's really helping me to get up some darker mucus and phlegm. I, I'm sorry, guys. I know it's gross, but we got to talk about these things if we are to learn about them. When we finally start coughing up those darker colors, that is old old lymph coming up. Don't be alarmed whenever you see these things because when we start to get into these deeper layers of lymphatic congestion, it is normal to see some pretty gnarly things come out. So embrace those, understand what's going on and celebrate the fact that your body is cleaning some major, major house. All in all today, I ate about a pound of those jumbo red grapes. And then my husband picked up a uh, container about this size or so of watermelon chunks from the store. Yes, watermelon isn't quite in season yet, but guys, it was just phenomenal. Extra hydrating, the crunch was amazing, the texture change was just uh, totally blissful. It was a change from grapes and I was really grateful for that. <laughs> I had to, I just had to. <clears throat> And then later on, I made myself a, a very large grape and lemon juice just to use up the grapes that I did have on hand. Again, because they are a bit underripe, so there was about a pound of uh, black grapes and then probably two pounds of those jumbo red grapes, and I threw in one lemon there. All in all, it gave me about 50 to 55 ounces of juice, and I just sipped on that throughout the night. When you start to struggle with low energy in your detox journey, don't be alarmed, don't be uh, confused, just understand that your body is finally purging those stimulants from previous food choices, and that your, your organs and your glands that have become used to having that artificial stimulation, they now have to cleanse themselves. They now have to regenerate themselves and kind of relearn and remember how to do their jobs on their own. Our, our glands now have to produce their own steroids and hormones and neurotransmitters because there isn't an artificial substance stimulating them to do so. So it's very normal to experience this dip just roll with it, friends. Trust the process and honor your body and its call for rest. So on that note, that's really all I have for today. Um, grapes, watermelon, an awesome grape and lemon juice, moving of more phlegm. Very grateful for that, but huge, huge dip in energy. Um, I'm going to sleep like a baby tonight. Oh, I plan on it. <laughs> And tomorrow I'm going to the grocery store to pick up some different fruits and vegetables, things that will be properly ripe and satisfying, but still hydrating, alkalizing, and especially astringent because my goal here is to keep digging into that lymph. So I'm going to be eyeing up some good juicy fruits and we'll see what I come up with. I hope you guys are doing wonderfully on your monkey diet challenge. Don't be afraid to allow yourselves a little bit of grace and compassion. Don't be afraid to be flexible with your protocol. If the fruit or vegetables that you're eating right now are not satisfying, especially if they're not ripe, change course. It's okay. Do something different. Just keep listening to your body and give it what it needs. 
That's it for today, friends. Thanks again for being here with me. I'll see you tomorrow for day nine.